What is going on guys, this is Ben here, bringing you another Clash Royale video. I'm actually enjoying this game quite a bit. I know that first video where I was introduced it to you guys, like, I didn't really know much about it. Uh, but I actually <clears throat> have played it a little bit in the, uh, the, 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 whatever it's called, the battle arena. And you can see I'm up to 262 trophies. And sorry if you hear like a, like that noise, it's like the chords. Cause I'm on my phone and usually I don't record videos on my phone, but that's the only way I have this uh, game on, or the only device I have it on. I don't have it on my iPad yet, but we're gonna open some chests here. And we got some gold, we needed that. We got some gems, nice. Knight, archer, okay. Ooh! I was hoping for that. I finally got a mini P.E.K.K.A. And this is from a match I won earlier. Cause you get chest if you win. So we got knight, goblin hut. Goblin huts are really good, guys. Skeleton army, that, that's new for me too. Um, but I don't, I personally don't like that. And you can see I'm, I was out of gems because I was impatient, but we're going to try out this mini P.E.K.K.A. Um, I, he's pretty strong. What, let's see what he does. Hit points, he targets ground, range melee, okay. Deploy, one second. Okay, so he does a ton of damage. 58 hit points. Let's see the info on this. 120 damage per second. Um... Who do I want to take out for him? Because I really like these skeletons. The we'll upgrade him. The knight is just he's a, he's a good tank. He's a good tank along with the tank. Uh, the Valkyrie is fairly new. Uh, oh, I'm level three too. I can make a clan. Sweet. I, I love the goblin hunt. So you can see I'm deciding which cards I want to use. I literally the Pekka is really good, but I like the witch. Which is really good as well. Um, we'll switch her out for the musketeer. We'll use. So there we go. There's my army. I haven't really tried the Valkyries yet. I think I've played a match with them maybe once. And then the Pekka's new. But I'll try and go over my strategy. Uh, what else is? Can I upgrade? Oh, this. I don't have enough gold to upgrade that though, unfortunately. Um, that's all right. Uh, okay. So for those of you that didn't know what was going on there, basically, you can whenever you win a multiplayer match, uh, you get like a chest. And then it takes time to open these chests, uh, but you get cards from that, and then your inventory has all these cards with different troops that you can use and different abilities, like the Fireball, the Witch over here, the Mini P.E.K.K.A., which I just got, which is pretty good, the Giant and all this, and then this Goblin Hunt, and I'll explain those more when I'm in the match. Um, but, yeah, you can battle for the arena, you can either practice over here, so I actually know a little bit about this game now, as, compares, as opposed to my first game. Um, but, uh, like, freaking, let's go to the leaderboards here. Reversal's been going hard. You can see he's got, like, 1,200 medals, or 1,200 trophies. Um, he's on the leaderboard. He's, like, 8th right now, you can see that. <laughs> uh, I've played a couple games, not to that extent. Um, you can see my battle log here. I've won most of them. I've d I lost twice in a row there, but other ones I've won pretty much. And this last battle is actually pretty good. So the crown towers, um, you can are he got one, I got three. So I did end up winning this one, but it was a rough match. So I'll explain like what my strategy kind of is. So at the beginning, I usually wait till I have ten elixir to drop anything or to see where where my opponent drops anything. And I do want to mention though, this game I think is only on iOS right now too. Um, I'm not sure if it's on an Android. I know Nick and I made a video on it. Um, maybe you can get an Android. I'm not sure. I don't know those details because I was not at Supercell when they, like, you know, how, like Nick and Cheapad and like the other people like Clash on Gone got like the exclusive stuff for this. I wasn't there when they like were told about this. I just literally downloaded the game and played it. So I don't know all the inside details. Like all I really think or know is like it's only available in a few countries right now. It's a soft launch and maybe it's only on iOS. Um, but as you can see, like these goblin huts in the back, you, uh, you typically want to place those in the back. They're really good if you first get those for one of your first cards because then you can just spawn a ton of, of goblins. You can see I already lost a tower like super early on and that's not looking good because you can just spawn waves on the left hand side of my base. Um, and I dropped my Valkyrie here just to test it out. This is like my first match with him. Um, and I'm trying to get rid of this giant so he cannot get to my base. Um, and you can see he's got two of those goblin towers in the back just spawning a bunch of goblins. And I can't really do anything about it. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting for my giant and my witch to be up so I can, because that's like the one of the main strategies I like to use is like drop a giant so it distracts because giants still go towards like towers and stuff. Um, but I actually used a fireball on that big wave there. I'm not even paying attention. So I'm trying to make a counter attack here. I dropped my giant. I'm trying to get enough elixir to drop my witch behind him so I can take out his tower. 
But as you can see, he pretty much wasted all of his elixir on some like the musketeer and another uh, some more uh, another Pekka there. But I have enough troops up in here to be able to deal some damages and then like dropping the giant and the witch is like probably one of my favorite things like I said. Um, that's what I try and do and I try and focus only on one side. Um, but we're burning down the tower and then the 60 seconds left is when it gets nice because you get the double elixirs you can just spam your troops. So we're trying to take out the tower, we finally get that crown down. And then here we go, I'm like you know what since we got that freaking drop whatever, what did I drop I don't even know. But I have another fireball up, so watch this fireball take away those skeletons. Boom. Completely destroys them. Drop my giant and I got my witch again. So that's like the ultimate combo for me. Giant, witch, GG pretty much. 30 seconds left. I'm like, come on, give me, no give me enough elixir, please. Give me Nux to live. Nux to live. Oh, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> enough elixir. Finally drop the witch. And he drops more skeletons up in there. Uh, that does kind of suck because that slows down my witch quite a bit. But I do have the fireball, and I kind of just wasted it there, but either way, there's like 10 seconds left. We're base running here, I'm dropping everything I got. And the witch is dealing damages, the goblins are dealing damages that I have, whatever the skeletons are. And we go into overtime. I didn't know this, this is the first time I ever went into overtime, so you get 60 extra seconds. I don't know what happens if you don't win in overtime, maybe it's a person who dealt more damage, but in overtime, it will pull up the victory, even though I lost my tower that early. So that was a good attack there. I'll do some alive ones for you. Like I don't know, like this game is just like refreshing because it's a new style of game, and I think it's pretty fun. It's actually requires like strategy and like good timing and whatnot. We'll try and pull up the victory for you. If I lose, oh well. But I have a good starting hand here. I got my giant and my witch, um, but I do have the Valkyrie. So we're kind of just gonna wait till we get B10 elixir and see what he wants to drop, because otherwise I'll kind of like counter. Connor, whatever he does. Alright, so he drops a witch first. We'll drop our Valkyrie first. And then I want to get my P.E.K.K.A out there. I'll drop this guy up in here. Drop our P.E.K.K.A. And I'm going to just kind of save. We'll drop our Bomber to get rid of the witch stuff too. Alright, so we're kind of struggling a little bit. Maybe that's a new strategy. Drop the witch first. I don't even know because my tower is going down. Damn. So we'll use our fireball there. Save my, save myself. And he's dropping a giant. Oh god. Oh god, this ain't good. Um, we'll drop the R witch. Hopefully, he can burn through the giant because the giant just tanks so much damage. We'll drop our knight up in here. He knows what's up. He does the giant witch strategy. I'm actually gonna drop my Pekka. This is my first, this is, I actually will drop this, because we need to get rid of those witch, uh, those witch minions. Oh, this ain't looking good, guys. He's definitely going to get this left-hand side down on us. Uh-oh. At least we get our cannon up now. We'll drop our P.E.K.K.A. up in here. Kill that witch. Pekka's on the mini Pekka's aren't aren't that great actually. I thought they were a little bit better than that. All right, so pretty soon we'll get enough elixir to be able to drop my witch, and I'll just drop it right behind my giant. So we get the double elixir now, and I'm going to be spamming stuff. We were going to be pushing hard on this left hand side. Oh god. Low power mode. That's not what we want. I don't even know if the P.E.K.K.A.s are what we want. <laughs> Which? 30 seconds left. We gotta make a huge comeback. Uh oh. We're this guy's. He's got a lot more medals than I do. So. First, first game back. We're getting destroyed. Fireball. Yeah, that's pretty much GG. He's got one of my crown towers. I have none. Ugh. Oh well. You guys see, I, that was my first loss in a very long time. There's absolutely no way to come back. He, he did give me a little interesting strategy though. Dropping the witch first. It's definitely tough to get over. So thank you for that, man. We'll go into the next battle. 
We only lost a couple a uh, couple trophies, so it didn't really matter too much. We'll try and pull out a win for you guys. All right. Actually, we'll do. I love getting the goblins up first. We'll drop our goblins up. Just right off the bat, we don't even care. Make them respond with something. And then we'll drop our witch up in here. Oh god, I don't have my fireball. That's gonna suck. But at least we're able to quickly burn the, through those. I do have my giant. But he's gonna take too long. So we gotta drop our, our knight because he's the next person that has like the second highest health. And we're burning through his tower. He did drop a P.E.K.K.A, unfortunately. Um, The mini P.E.K.K.A. I'm gonna drop my giant. I should've dropped my giant farther back, actually. That was kinda stupid. Cause now my giant's just gonna go to waste. We'll drop, we'll drop the, we'll drop the hut. We still have a minute left before we get double elixir, so. All right, here comes his giant. Uh, I'm actually gonna drop a P.E.K.K.A. Because P.E.K.K.A. does quite a bit of damage. And he's probably gonna drop a witch behind the giant or that. But that's fine, I have my fireball now, so if I need to, I can take care of those. Mm, no, I'm not gonna waste it. Alright, let's see what I wanna do here. We'll drop our witch way back here. We'll drop our knight up in here because he has a ton of health, and our giant is on the rise. We're on the, he's, he's coming soon, so hopefully our witch stays right there for a little bit, so I have time to drop my giant. Come on, come on, come on. Cause you always want that giant up in front. There we go. This, there, his uh, crown tower should go down. This is good for us. He does drop the giant. We're gonna, we're just gonna spam this left hand side. 60 seconds left. It is double elixir. He's gonna be doing the the skeletons again. That's okay. Look at all my skeletons from the hut. We're dropping our Pekka up in here. We're bombarding this left hand side. We still have our giant left. We have so much stuff up in here with the witch. Like, that's the OP strat, man, for this this day, or the, right right around my medal count is like, or trophy count. Get your, if you can get your giant up there untouched with that witch, so much damage. And there you go, you can see we got the silver chest. Can't really open it right now, um, and I don't really have enough gold to be able to upgrade my fireball, but that's okay. So, still, still rising in trophies. We'll see if we can get to 300, we'll do yeah, I have no slots full. You cannot receive new chests, start a new battle. Yes, we'll start a new battle. See if I can get 300, 300 trophies in this video. Searching for opponent. Honestly, I'm surprised like so many people already have this game. Actually, no, I'm not, but okay. Goblin Hut, you're, you're going. Oh, good starting hand right here. We have Fireball in case whatever he drops. Can drop our giant back here. Thank you from that other player that I lost to. Which is actually really smart because now I can get my witch a little bit closer to it. Boom. Witch goes out. Oh, he has a freaking dragon? That's my first time fighting a dragon. Thank god I have my goblin hut because those attack the air, I'm pretty sure. Um, And the witch. Okay, this is good. Fortunately, my giant did go down. Mini P.E.K.K.A is on the way, that's gonna melt my witch, that sucks. He's got his knight going. Um, I think I'm gonna drop another... Another hut. Cause the goblin hut's just too OP, dude. This drops troops like nothing. And I, I wanna save my giant until I get another witch. So we'll drop a P.E.K.K.A up in here. Charge! If that P.E.K.K.A goes untouched, it actually might hurt a lot. Yeah, it does a ton of damage, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see, P.E.K.K.A. Go ham! But now we need to get rid of these dragons. I don't know if I have a lot to combat dragons. Freaking baby dragons, OP, dude. <laughs> so we'll drop our knight up in here just to help kill this giant. Ah, oh, I need to drop my witch, dude. I got a knight to tank some of the damage. Valkyrie, you got like 800 health, I think. 
Alright. Come on, double, double elixir, let's go. I've been saving this witch for a while. Well, we're going. Taking down this crown tower. Nice. Now we're just gonna spam this left hand side. I do have a giant in my inventory. This is a, this is one I usually just go off when we get the double elixir. Because now I can drop the giants. Get up in there. Go. Take the damage, giant. Drop our knight. We're just spamming them. There we go. That's how you win. That's how you win right there. That's the strategy that I've been using so far. I don't know how it'll work once I get higher up there, once I get better cards from my chests and whatnot, but that's like the best I can do right now is just try and burn down their, their crown towers and then place the giant, place the witch. If you, if you have the free run between them, those towers just drop so fast. So that's my strategy so far. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys, I don't know, are enjoying the game as well as much as I am. It's, it's, it's honestly so fun. I'm not even gonna lie. And I like the aspect of like upgrading the cards and whatnot. I just I wish you could unlock the chest faster. That was, that's only, or you could have more than four. Uh, but either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure like you did, and over subscribe for more Clash Royale. If you have not already, hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you guys later.